This is Cricket's new playmate, a six week old Great Pyrenees puppy. So this is his first morning with us and he came from a barn where his litter and his mother was and uh, just absolutely flea ridden and dirty and he much needed a bath and uh, with the fleas so great I read a lot about Dawn dish soap and um, after research and I went ahead with it and there really was no problems at all um, I watched another video who suggested doing a around the neck first because when the fleas go to run for uh, higher ground hopefully that'll be kind of a roadblock to uh, keep them all from rushing up to his head and his eyes and his nose which they did to some extent but hopefully this helped and uh, he's just really not happy about being in the sink at all So then step number two, I also found out um, that the fleas can also run the other way and uh, try and basically hide up his butt. So um, I didn't take any chances and I lathered up his butt really good first also uh, with his neck. And there was really no problems with the Dawn dish soap. There was no uh, reactions, uh, didn't hurt him at all, not even so much as uh, dry skin anything like that so I uh, went ahead and got a good lather uh, I'm just using enough water to sort of help keep a, a, a lather up I'm not really getting really really wet just a little to keep a nice thick lather on and uh, at this point you can see the lather and already I'm I'm seeing t uh, fleas starting to run for it and uh, they're on my fingers and you can see them and I'm really starting to see the flea dirt as well and the poor thing was just so flea infested it was ridiculous so now I'm trying to comfort him a little bit he's really unhappy being in the sink I went ahead and lathered up his tail to try not to skip anything and uh, I knew we were going to go ahead with the flea comb afterwards, but I was trying to get his, the best job I could do with the Dawn. And here I'm just getting a little more water on there. I'm not ready to really get him really wet yet. I'm just, just enough to keep a little lather going. And the way the fleas, the movement with the fleas, you could really tell that they, they don't like Dawn, that's for sure. Now we're going to get the temperature just right so it's not too cold. Uh, he seemed to, he was really uncomfortable with the whole thing, but uh, having the water a, a little, little warmer than skin temperature seemed to be the best to do for him. We're getting his top rinsed down really well. And we're rinsing his belly and um, he's not going to be able to take his baths in the sink too long because he's going to grow out of it really quickly. But for now, it's working out pretty well. I just went ahead and laid a towel down inside the sink. And um, he's getting more comfortable already. Already you can sense that he's a little more at peace. Um, not having the fleas just practically eating him alive. I took a second towel to get him nice and dry. Now he's a little happier. I got the brush right away to uh, help let the flea comb go through his fur a little better so then we got him out of the sink and now it's time to go ahead with a little flea combing and um, he smelled so much better at this point and um, I left no stone unturned um, fortunately my son was able to help me put a little time into it because it did take some time to uh, to get a, they really did flock to his head to some degree, but we got them all, and they, they were getting in his eyes. And um, at this point, I'm just here. I'm picking them by hand, and I think in the bowl here from the flea comb, we counted like 32 fleas, and uh, there he is, much happier now. <laughs>